This is Dr. Anderson, uh, just summarizing a quick argument we made in our horror film class about the 2018 reboot of Halloween and the way that it deals with the problem of evil, uh, the philosophical problem of evil that in theology is often called theodicy. Um, as you know, the film begins with looking at these podcasters and the scientists who are fascinated with Michael and want to learn something um, about evil by studying him. And so this is emphasized by lots of shots of their eyes, right? And so when they confront Lori with this desire to know, of, to know evil, she's puzzled by this. Lori's the survivor of the original murders in 1978. And so she simply claims there are no new insights. Evil is just evil and it must be destroyed. And so the film is addressing current fears about a resurgence and fascism in the world. And it employs fascist imagery to and associates that with Michael Myers and his his killings um, for one one salient images of the image of the film is when Michael delivers a pile of teeth to one of his victims. Um, these kinds of images we associate very heavily with the Holocaust and the kind of horrors that the Nazis perpetrated on the Jews. Um, that Holocaust imagery is extended when one of Michael's victims literally has numbers tattooed to his arm, um, just as the Jews did in the concentration camps. And speaking to the concentration camps, um, at the end of the film, Lori literally incinerates Michael, spoiler alert, uh, and in her basement, um, evoking the imagery of the camps in this in this way, employing the Nazis tools against them to destroy the evil that he is. So this film very kind of clearly is interested in the problem of evil. And it's kind of uh, accusing us for our fascination with figures like Ted Bundy, who are evil. And it wants to suggest there's nothing to be learned by studying evil. It is just evil. Thanks.